Oh, I see. So you think I should plant this more on the um, morning sun? Yeah, I would plant somewhere where it gets more morning after you, or like underneath your covered patio maybe, if you have one of those. Like keep it in a container? Yep, yeah, I've seen people leave them in pots and they do pretty well actually. Well, what if we want something in the ground? What type of tree can you recommend? Let's do this! Hi everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. I have my McCafe cup of coffee today. So I am here in Star Nursery. This is one of the sellers of uh, plants here. Whole, um, retail sellers of plants. So I am here because I am in search of a fruit tree for, for my backyard. So when I made the video about my mom's backyard and she has that huge lemon tree, somehow it inspired me to plant a tree in my backyard. So let us see what we can get. I don't want a lemon tree anymore because my mother-in-law already has one. So I'll probably get another fruit tree, but I'm not sure what it will be. So let's go check what they have today. Here we are now inside the Star Nursery. So on the right side here, they have the annuals. And then back there is where they have the trees. That's where we will go. And then on the left side here, they have the herbs. And then behind the herbs, you probably cannot see it. That's where they keep the succulents and the cacti. Look at all these beautiful pots of annual flowers. Ooh, spring. Spring is just around the corner. Beautiful. So this is the section where they sell the cactus and the succulents. So starting with this Kalanchoes that are all in bloom today. Very pretty. And then on top here, this is where they sell the cacti with the fake flowers, which I really hate that they do that. And uh, they also charge you more, like an extra dollar for fake flowers. <laughs> okay, and then um, some more over here. So each of these pots right here is $4.48 plus tax. So the only thing in here is that they don't the pots don't come with any labels on them, so you don't actually know what you're getting although you know some of them i could tell what they are like i know this is a golden barrel here 
This is a type of feral cactus, feral cactus, old man of the Andes right there. So some of them, you know, you can tell what they are. Mammillaria right here. This is the Mammillaria bocasana. And oh, look at this one. I know what this is. This is a little saguaro. <laughs> Beautiful. It's hard. This is. A, it takes a long time to grow this, so that's probably a few years old already. But that's a saguaro. They also have assorted succulents here. So these are all four dollars and forty-eight cents each pot. So again, they have no labels on them. So. You don't really know the exact name of what you are getting but i do see a lot of nice ones in here like healthy looking succulents they all have beautiful stress colors on them right now oh this one has a label on it let's see this is an echeveria parva that one is really beautiful So now we are approaching the section where they have the trees. So they usually sell trees that grow here in the desert. We have grapefruit, kumquat, what else do they have here? They have a dwarf eureka lemon. So they have a lot of citrus trees because citrus trees usually grow well here in the desert. Ooh, pink lemonade sounds good <laughs> so they have lemons lime dwarf blood orange oh Valencia Valencia orange hmm I like this type of orange I wonder if it will grow well here in the desert but usually what they sell here are those that are expected to grow well in our climate. Navel orange. Hmm. Right now I'm inclined to getting oranges or grapefruit. All right, so me and my husband were talking about the fruits that we like to eat. They also have peaches here and apricots, but I don't really like those much. So we're now down to orange or grapefruit what do you think babe what do you like orange or grapefruit orange orange yes. you prefer orange okay so we want to grow something that we will be able to eat so now we're down to oranges so it's a choice between blood orange valencia orange or the washington, washington naval orange. washington naval orange let's go check each one Usually I recommend planting citrus on a side that'll get uh, morning sun, afternoon shade. The afternoon sun can be a little bit harsher in the summertime, so you might see, see some burning on the on the flowers that form before the fruit. Mm -hmm. Or the leaves themselves might burn a little bit. That's oh, my only concern. I see. So you think I should plant this more on the um, morning sun? Yeah, I would plant somewhere sun. where it gets more morning afternoon, or like underneath your covered patio maybe. If you have one of those. Like keep it in a container? Yep. Yeah, I've seen people leave them in pots and they do pretty well actually. Well, what if we want something in the ground? What type of tree can you recommend? Uh, I'd recommend more of a fruit tree actually along the back wall. I know I've got pears and apples. Oh, and apples can grow here? Yeah. I think I've got a couple apples oh. over there. Um, ultimately, oh, I'm like the in training so I'm not, I don't know my stuff perfectly uh -huh. but I'm, I'm there kind of. Um, certain fruits need a, a frost time, so they get enough frost in our winters to make the fruit next spring or so. How does this do in the frost, the oranges? I would just protect them. Like, we keep ours in a hothouse during the winter time to keep them extra protected. And then if you're planted that first year or uh -huh. first two years, I'd at least wrap it to protect your investment. I and see. then just watch the temperatures, you know. If it gets below freezing, you know, in the 30s or so, I'd protect it just to save your money, just in so, case. So between orange or apples, if we're planting it in the ground under full sun? I'd probably go with an apple because I keep apple? my stuff over. Like, my fruits are in an area where they get full sun all day. Oh, so can you show us where the yeah. apple is? Anything outside of our house for people? Like, if you wanted flowers in that area, I'd say something out here more. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, you can get a... Oh, a, look at this. That is my name, Anna. Yep, <laughs> yep you got Anna, Anna Apple. Apple. <laughs> I didn't know there was an apple after yeah, my name. Those are good. Yeah, yeah they're a nice moderate-sized apple. They're not too big. So she's saying anything in here, these are the ones that are very hardy. Yeah. Because as you can see, they're outside. <laughs> yeah, we do a good job of trying to only bring stuff in that, that can grow here in Vegas. You know, we don't want to make failures happen. Right. We want you to be successful. Yes. So thank you. Thank you. Yes, we'll just choose from among this. Yeah. Yes. I'll be inside if you need anybody else. Thank you. Okay, they also have pomegranate. And pistachio trees the thing is with pistachios you need two a male and a female for you to get the fruit so i don't have that much space in my backyard i can only plant one tree so we've decided we're gonna take a gala apple tree because it says here it takes heat it's self-fertile that means we don't need two trees to have a fruit and uh it takes moderate winter ch winter chill of 500 hours so yeah so it's just a matter of choosing one that will fit in our vehicle so they are dormant right now but come springtime they'll start developing those leaves This is something that I really want to plant in my backyard. So this is very hardy. You'll see a lot of this in the Mojave Desert. So they thrive very, very well here in the desert. Look, they even have tags on them.
here is my apple tree right now so i got a gila apple tree doesn't look like a tree right now but hopefully in spring it will start shooting the leaves and i don't really know when i'll harvest my apples but here it is and i also bought a couple of cactus in pots they are columnars so i'm planning to practice on my grafting skills okay so thank you everyone for watching as always have a great day and cheers